up, stock fam? This is the next episode of Rasta Stocks. The one and only Rasta Stocks. There's no one else. <laughs> All right. On that note, AMC. I wasn't going to talk about this stock at all until a few of my friends in the Discord that I'm in, the future millionaires, I should say. Shout out to you, Mario, and shout out to you, Philly, because it's always good to have people that you know do a little bit more research than you because when you research, you may be looking for certain things, you know, but they could be looking at other things as well. So I'm glad that I network with them in my Discord. And that's another form of networking, I should say, for those who have watched my networking video. On that note, AMC is currently trading at $6.78 a share and it's up 38% in the after hours. And I remember like probably like a week or two weeks ago, this stock was like a dollar, right? Um, eight analysts saying 0% is buying, 62% um, is holding, and 30%, 37%, I should say, is selling. And um, the volume as of today is about 398 million. And I always say volume is key when it comes to any stock. Volume is key. If it doesn't have volume, it's not worth it. Remember that volume is key. And it's also a dividend stock that pays you about three cents a share based on how many shares you guys have, right? But to me, I think this stock is a little risky based on what's going on in the world right now with the COVID vaccine. But my bro Philly in the Discord saying he see this stock reaching to about 8 or $9 a share by summer. Who knows? And my other bro Mario says the same thing. So I had to, you know, whip out the phone, you know, and just do my research. And what I found out that the chief executive, Adam Aaron, said in a statement on Monday that bankruptcy for this company is up is off is off the table they raised about 917 million dollars in capital since december to help them through the coronavirus crisis and that's that's pretty good because you know no one is really you know going to the movie theaters <laughs> shit i mean they're closed <laughs> they're closed and um you know, if they if they raise nine hundred and seventeen million dollars to to help them stay afloat, I say that's pretty good. That means they're working on something that we don't know about. And I heard a rumor, don't quote me on this, that they're about to start streaming. But you know, you have like other platforms like Disney, um, Amazon, Hulu, Yahoo. You know, people could stream stuff and watch stuff. So, I don't know, maybe in a couple of years, um, this company might not be around or maybe they'll adapt and evolve so they won't get left behind. Because I did hear they say they're going to come out with some type of streaming. I don't know. And um, they have like about 38,872 employees. So, I don't know if their employees are getting paid or if their employees are laid off, but you know, it's Corona, man. So who knows, maybe the, the government is helping them with the unemployment or whatever, but do your research people. That's what I found out, you know, and it's because of Mario and Philly in the discord group I'm in called the future millionaires. They have me thinking, you know, and they, they mentioned some things to me and I just went, whipped out my phone and I did my, due diligence, due diligence, my research, and um, yeah, yeah, they, they raised 917 million to cover them through the COVID crisis, and they have theaters all over, Italy, Europe, 
all over the United States. So, let's see. I think we'll see. A AMC Entertainment might survive this, you know. But we'll see. And the Biden administration did say they're trying to get out as much vaccines as they possibly can so the world could get back to normal. But we will see. We will see. Time will tell. Time will tell. And um, the headquarters for AMC Entertainment is in Lakewood, Kansas, I should say. Lakewood, Kansas. So maybe they're working on something we, the public, don't know about to save their company. Or maybe they're going to merge with somebody. Who knows? Who knows? But I know this company was founded in 19... 20. So that's a, that's a very long, long time for them to be out. And like I said, the executive chief took the rumors of bankruptcy off the table, you know. But hey, listen, we're just going to have to watch and see because there's a lot of volume in this stock. And volume is key. So maybe... It has a comeback or maybe not, or maybe people just giving it a squeeze so they can make profits and, and come out of it. So basically like a pump and dump. Maybe they just do it, pump up the stock and then when they when they make the money they, they, they make and they just dump it and it probably crashes. Who knows? I'm not saying it's going to crash, but I've been looking at the charts on it. It's, it's it's trending upwards, trending upwards. I don't really see no correction for it as of yet. But listen, this is risky based on what's going on in the world right now. But if you have a high risk tolerance, if you think this company is going to prevail, hey, by all means, invest. If not, invest in other companies. And also, also people... Do your research and do your due diligence. All right. On that note, people, this was the next episode of Rasta Stock. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below of, about AMC. On that note, peace. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper.